Welcome to the MindView video tutorial on customizing your mind map. Before we begin, we will need a basic map, such as this one, which has not yet been formatted. We are now ready to be creative and make the most of MindView's formatting options. MindView's Office 2007 interface allows us to customize maps quickly and easily. The ribbon menu includes a design and a format tab which contains everything that you need to change the visual look and feel of your map. Therefore, as a first step, let us explore the design tab. The options in this tab allow us to make global changes to our map. Firstly, we have a number of layouts from which to choose. Notice the live preview as you roll your cursor over the icons. For this agenda map, we are going to select the left-right view. Secondly, MindView has many different styles which can be applied to a map. They range from hand-drawn to formal. This one will work well with our map. Thirdly, we will be able to apply a variety of effects to our agenda, such as color schemes, root shapes, and branch shapes. We can also change the text and the page properties of our map. So let's apply a color scheme to our whole map. Then choose a more interesting shape for our root. We have the option to change the branch shape, but for the moment, let us keep our rectangular branches. Lastly, let's apply a page pattern. The structured grid should work well. Our map looks remarkably different from when we started, and we may be happy to stop at this point. However, there are times when we will want to take it a step further and customize individual branches. So, as a second step, let's click on a branch and explore the Format tab. It is here that we will be able to make specific changes to the properties of a branch. For example, we might want to make a clear visual distinction between the branch's first issue and second issue. If we select first issue, we can go up to our ribbon and find the same color scheme and branch effects that were in our design tab. We can easily select and apply a different color scheme to this branch. We can also change its individual branch shape. We may want to change the colors of the branch to a scheme that does not exist in the instant color scheme gallery. So let's move over to our branch options where this can easily be done. This branch has a gradient, so we will need to change two colors the fill color and the gradient color. I can choose from pre-existing swatches or I can pick a custom color. For the fill, I'm going to set a custom color. And for the gradient, I will choose this yellow swatch. We are also able to modify the branch outline properties. This includes the width and the color. To distinguish a branch more clearly, we may want to apply a boundary around the branch and all its sub-branches. Click on the boundary icon to switch the boundary on. We can see that the boundary does not suit our color scheme. So we can set the full color and the outline color, as well as the width or the style if we chose to do so. We can repeat these easy steps for other branches. As a third and final step, it may be useful to demonstrate how we can modify a group of selected branches simultaneously. Select the group of sub-branches belonging to first issue. You will see that the Format tab appears at the top. Pick a fill color. Notice how it is instantly applied to all the selected branches. 
Let's select the main branches as well and apply a bold formatting to the text. As a final touch, we can add a numbering scheme from the Home tab. The result is a unique and professionally presented mind map.